Do the math and yes and no. You need to keep saying yes, 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 and how am I going to do that? I mean, you have 24 hours a day. You can't do 30 hours of stuff in 24 hours a day. But progress gives us lots of things, lots of things to contribute to, and uh, lots of good, fun, enjoyable things. And so we want to do those, and it sounds like it'd be a lot of fun, but uh, it's just a mathematical necessity you're going to have to say no. So this is priority driven living again. You, you decide what are your most important priorities and say yes to those, and say no to some of the others. Stephen Jobs, uh, when he took over Apple Computer the second time, he said, this company needs focusing. F focusing does not mean saying yes. It means saying no. Sometimes my life needs focusing. That means I have to start saying no. I was in a church once. They said, we teach our people that no is a holy word. I stopped and thought about that for a little bit. But yeah, no is a holy word. It is. But we're going to have to say no to lots of things in order to really say yes to, to the highest things. Um, television. Anybody here not have a television set? It's one out of a hundred. Okay, one, two. Okay, wow, you have been waiting for normal. That's four or five. Okay. I have a television set, and I'm not telling people to get rid of theirs, but I have a sneaky suspicion the wisest people are probably the people who don't have television sets. Uh, we are now watching what, 34 hours a week the average person is. And so if you don't have enough time, Duh. I mean, there it is, 34 hours a week. This is not rocket science. You just shoot it or something. Or, you know, take it for a walk and don't bring it back. I don't know. <laughs> More televisions in the average home than there are people in the average home. 20% of two years have TVs, TVs in their room. So there used to be one television in the family room and there were only a few stations. So the family all get together. Now there's televisions all over and everybody scatters and nobody watches the same stuff and so it tears the family apart. Late night television is very educational. It teaches you you should have gone to bed earlier. <laughs> <laughs> the free three. Th these are special gifts. I think God knew life was going to be tough, and he gave us these three gifts that you do not have to pay money for, and everywhere around the world people use these. Laughter, music, and nature. I cannot tell you why they work. All I can do is tell you that they work. Laughter. People who laugh readily heal faster. People who laugh readily heal faster. We don't know exactly why. Who laughs the most? Me or four-year-olds? Four-year-olds, right? I laugh 15 times a day. They laugh 400 times a day, once every four minutes. Uh, you hang around a four-year-old and laugh every time they do, 30 minutes every day. I can guarantee you something positive will happen to you. <laughs> no concept of a bad hair day. <laughs> the baby is awesome. It is just unbelievable. And there's sometimes I'm just really depleted. I'm sitting in the corner and having a pity party. I don't want any man to be my therapist. And then this song comes from who knows where, and it just penetrates every level of resistance. The music is very therapeutic. Laughter is very good. And you don't have to pay a penny for any of these. You can if you want to. Nature is the third. In case you haven't noticed, this is a beautiful state. I, I always say I'm, I, I'm, great, I'm grateful for the minus 30 temperatures because it keeps the population down. I mean, we would be overrun if we didn't have winter to contend. <laughs> so, you know what you need to understand about this picture? This is what we call grapes. You didn't paint this. You didn't build this. You didn't create this thing that you're looking at here. It's a free gift to us. So that's the definition of grapes. Something you didn't deserve, but you have anyway. And that, that sunset is unique in the history of the universe. That sunset has never occurred before. It changes every second. And if you had to pay rent for that, you would be able to afford five minutes. And there it is. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Nobody, paint, nobody uh, planted these flowers. This is Bakerfield, California. You know what happened? It rained. <laughs> people who are hunters, a lot of people are hunters because they want to get out into the woods and have this excuse just to sit there and soak it in because it is so beautiful. This is a gorgeous, and I, all four of the seasons are gorgeous in their own right. 